the other authors and myself have been involved in modeling different energy systems and economic systems for a very long time. Um, and what we have found is that in most cases, you have to make so many assumptions in order to put together a model that the outcome or the predictions from your models are going to be really a function of what it is you selected in the way of input parameters and input numbers and, uh, and so forth. And so our goal at the very outset was to make this very simple. And so we could, uh, did not have to uh, make an enormous number of, uh, of assumptions. And so we made the model that we used very, very simple. Uh, and it's described in the book. It's the kind of thing where you don't have to dig into a computer program to see where somebody did what, under what conditions, and when that had some kind of an impact and so forth. You can look at what it is we did and it's all there. You may disagree with some of the assumptions, and that's perfectly legitimate. But in fact, the overall conclusions of the work we did before and the updated work that's in the book remain ro very robust. They've last. They've they've been um, they've been discussed. They've been presented around the world, and uh, people agree that generally that's the character of the problem. And, and therefore, I think we simplified in an intelligent way. Uh, and the purpose, of course, was to find out what's the best you can do. We're not going to do the best we can do because we're dealing with human beings and real world limitations in terms of manufacturing and skills and expertise and money. And uh, right now, in the United States in particular, we have just a ton of regulations that are going to have to be swept aside so that people can go build things and do things very quickly because our life, our economic life is going to depend on running like hell.